Are you looking for free and open source learning management system? You are at the right place. In this video series, we will be implementing modular object oriented dynamic learning environment, Moodle. Moodle is world's most popular learning management system which is being used by millions of learners across the globe. Universities, colleges, schools, coaching centers, physical coaching centers, online academies. This particular platform is being used by many corporates as their corporate learning management system. The reason of its popularity was COVID-19 pandemic. Educational institutes had to deliver knowledge to their students and it was very difficult for them to develop and deploy a new learning management system. That is where Moodle became popular. Today, world's most popular universities are using Moodle as their learning management system. It is very simple to deploy and easy to use. It is customizable and trusted learning management system, which means that it is dynamic and flexible. It can be deployed on any web server. So web application is simple to install and configure. Moodle application is also available. You can simply download the app and provide your server IP address or server address. As I mentioned, it is very simple and easy to install and configure. Moodle can be deployed on any web server. For Moodle platform, you need to have minimum 1 GB of RAM. 200 MB of storage for the platform itself, two core, one gigahertz processor. And depending upon the course content, you can choose the storage of your choice. And LAMP server, of course, for the storage and database and web. I already have web server with 100 GB. Depending upon your environment, you can choose the storage by yourself. Up to 50,000 users, it can work without any issue. If you want to know how to install web server, I have provided the link in the description below. You can watch that video. And once you have configured the web server, you can come back and install Moodle on your web server. I have also provided step-by-step -step guide where you can see the details, how you can install it. Now we will go back and see how to install Moodle on our web server. So what are the steps involved? First of all, we need to create a website create the database, download Moodle from this link, and then we have to edit the user.ini. So I'll show you how everything can be done from here. I have created a subdomain called moodle.syncprix.com. And right now, nothing is pointing here because I have to configure this as a website here. So on my AA panel environment, I'll be choosing a new website, moodle.syncprix.com, Moodle LMS. And I'll be choosing SSL, HTTPS redirect, and at the same time, I'll be creating MySQL database also. As now you can see, SSL certificate is configured. Now, if I browse this website, so you can see I'm using Nginx as my web server. We will download Moodle. You can download from this particular link or you can go to download.moodle.org. So here is Moodle latest uh, release. The download is completed. I have deleted all the files here. Now I'll be uploading Moodle that I have downloaded. Here is Moodle. Just upload here. Wait for the upload to be completed and then unzip this file here. Here is my files which have been unzipped. Just wait for it to complete. I can simply delete this file because this is not needed now. And here is my root folder for Moodle. Of course, this particular folder has the website, Moodle web app. So I'll be going back again to websites. Click here and just change the site directory here. Moodle to this particular folder. Select here, save here. If I now look for moodle.syncprix.com you will get this particular error. There is a simple way to fix it. If you are using AA panel, you will be going to user.ini. This user.ini is created by the AA panel web server itself. So I'll be simply double clicking here. Just add hash in the beginning and save it. Now, if we go back here, refresh this, this error is gone now. Now this definitely needs a Moodle data directory. It will create the Moodle data directory by itself inside the root folder. If you see the root folder here, it will create the Moodle data directory here. And now if I refresh this again here, 
go back to Moodle, you can see Moodle data directory is automatically created. Now the database has to be there. I'll just click next. We created database, but I have deleted that database. I'll be just creating another database. I'll tell you the reason why. So I'll create Moodle DB and user will be Moodle user. And make sure to choose the character set as UTF-8 MB4 because this is what is required by Moodle. So we will choose this, click on submit. And now my database is created. I'll be just copying the user ID and password here. Moodle DB here, Moodle user and password here and click next. Now you can see it is saying that modular object oriented dynamic learning environment Moodle is being installed. So I will confirm and click next. You need to do some PHP settings here. So we'll follow the checklist and we'll make sure that all the plugins are installed and all the requirements are met. So as you can see, first of all, we must install PHP extension. It's called file info. So if I go to my PHP settings here, let me take you to the PHP setting here is PHP 7.4 setting. So file info needs to be installed. So I will install file info. File info is installed. Open cache we have to enable here. Go to the configuration file and search for open cache. So here is open cache that has to be enabled. So I have enabled it now. Just reload the service. But here it is not enough. I'll just show you why. I'll restart the service also. Let me go back to the installation. Now there are various settings that we need to do here. I'll be just simply clicking this link. Just copy and go back to PHP settings, configuration, uh, configuration file in fact. And here we need to paste the configuration I'll be simply copying this configuration here and paste it here and remove any repeated repeated ones the moment you will enable that it will appear here extensions so we will click on this open cache extension and this will install the script now just wait for the script to be installed now these are all the settings which have already been met now max input wars it needs uh, 4000 or 5000 at least max input wars and we'll go back to the configuration of our php and look for in the configuration file look for the max input wars which is 1000 so i'll be changing it to 5000 because this is what minimum is required here Okay, now you can see that it, it is meeting all the requirements. So your server environment meets all minimum requirements to run the installation. That's it. Continue now. I will just wait for the installation to complete. You can see the progress. Now the next step is to create the user ID password to log into the system. Uh, default user is admin. In this video, we have seen how to install Moodle. So we can install various themes. So I'll show you all the options in next video, how to install the theme and how to do the basic configuration and look and feel of your Moodle platform. So see you in next video. For more insights, watch the related video. Before you go, click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and avoid missing any latest videos.